In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you a way that you can sort both by the biggest winners and by the biggest losers. Now, the use case here is that you might want to know which products or which states or which whatever are doing the best, followed by those that are doing the worst. So let's go ahead and connect to a data set. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and connect to a coffee chain. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring state into the view. Let's look at budget profit compared to, oops, compared to regular profit. And we get a simple chart like this, but really what we're interested in is the variance, which ones are doing the best and which ones are doing the worst compared to their budget. So let's create a calculated field and let's call it variance to budget. And it's going to simply be the profit <clears throat> minus the budget profit. And now we can put that in the view, take the other two out, and we can see that some of them are positive and some of them are negative. Now, when I sort them, you can see I've got a bunch of winners and a bunch of losers. Ideally, what I want to be able to do is I want to take these and I want to sort them in the opposite direction. So I want these to sort ascending. Now that looks like it does it, right? However, if I go into my state sort, you can see that Tableau has switched this to a manual sort because I did a visual sort. So let's undo that sorting. And we need to now make it dynamic so that these will flip irrespective of the, uh, the filtering that we do or anything like that. So let me show you another example. So let me, let me turn that visual group uh, or that visual sort back on. And now if I show the type filter and I uncheck regular, I'm sorry, uncheck decaf and just look at regular coffee, you can see my sorting gets messed up. So hopefully that helps you understand the problem. So let's go ahead and clear the sort and then redo it. <clears throat> okay, so there's a couple of things we need to do. First, I wanna create a calculated field that says under budget. And this is just simply gonna be a Boolean calculation that says the variance to budget is less than zero, meaning they're unprofitable. So let's go ahead and throw that on color so we can see what it's doing. And essentially I want these orange bars to sort in the opposite direction so that the ones that are under budget the most are sorted first. So to do that, I need to create a calculated field. I'm gonna call this our uh, budget sort. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say if I'm under budget, meaning they're uh, the negative numbers, then simply return the variance to budget. So that's gonna return the negative values. Otherwise, I wanna turn the minus of the variance budget. And this might be confusing at first, but I'll explain it here in a second. <clears throat> Essentially what I'm doing is I'm kind of flipping the, the direction of, of the values. So I've got my budget sort and I'm gonna make that discrete. So now if I put my budget sort in the rows, you can see I've got, uh, I've got my, uh, my fields here, but they're still not sorting correctly. But notice how they're sorting. Uh, well, first off, they're sorting by state. So let me move this over here to this side. And you can see they're sorting by this largest value, right? But they're all negatives. But the trick here is I can just go ahead and put my under budget field to the left of that on the rows. And now I magically have my products sort or my, my states sorted by the largest winners first, followed by the largest losers first. And this works dynamically. So if I go ahead and go back to my example where I have my type filter and I uncheck decaf, you can see everything sorts perfectly. The reason this works is because I've made um, my under budget field is basically an alphabetical sort. So the false come before the true. Remember the true means my neg those are my, um, my, my uh, states that are under budget. And then because I made my budget sort discrete, that forces it to an alphabetical sorting. So you can see in my, in my, uh, my, my states that are profitable, I have, I'm sorting um, uh, alphabetically and, and an alphabetical sort by numbers means the most negative ones would be first. So from here, I could just clean it up a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and exclude, the, exclude them both from the tooltip. 
I'm going to hide the headers for both of them. And then I'm going to go ahead and format the view. So in my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my row dividers. Or even if you want your row dividers, let's just go ahead and reduce the level one to clean it up a bit. And then, uh, yeah, maybe that's all we want to do. So let's go ahead and uh, set this to entire view. And now we have a simple view that shows us the most positive first followed by the most negative first. So let's see how this works then. So if we switch out the view, let's say we do it by, um, uh, let's try uh, even maybe area code. Let's put that in there instead. You can see that my sorting will still work properly. Now the view looks all smushed here because I've set this to an entire view. But if we do it like that, we can see we have, um, we have everything sorting properly. Or if we put the market on here, for example, we now get the market. Or if we put the product line, we see that. Or if we put the product on there, Everything is still sorting correctly. So let me go back to my state view. And there you go. So a really simple, effective way for showing the most positive values followed by the most negative values. Hopefully you found that helpful, and I'll be back soon with another tip. Have a great day.